Well, hello there, folks. David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here. Um, this is going to be part two of the steak that I did with the stir fry. So, what I have left is a lump of steak like that. Um, got some garlic chopped, ginger partly chopped, soy. Little drop sunflower oil. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I was going to put in it, but off the top of my head, I'm not 100% certain. So, what I'm going to do is start off with some soy, but I'm going to bring these down a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Let's just tilt that up so I can see what I'm doing. And a retouch like that. Okay, that's there. That's there. So we start off putting some soy in like that. Probably a wee bit more than I was going to, but I can do stuff with it after. Grab a spoon. Wow, that garlic's strong. A bit of plonk in there. A bit more. Like that. That's what that looks like. Take out some ginger. Which is up here. Ginger, like so, and that's going to get chopped up a bit more. Make it all nice and fine. splash of oil in it like so give my hands a quick wee wipe Have another spoon this is some sugar that's going in bit of sugar. Um, what else could I throw in it? Could be just about anything in it to be honest. Okay, we stir. all coming together quite nicely. Mmm, it's 
smells nice. Now, time for the meat. So I'm going to nip off that you've got new there. Take that off there. Place that through there. And through there. And then just chop it into bits. Because this will cook really quick, it'll get lots of flavour from the marinade. Nip that wee noggin off. This will just come up. It's so much easier just cutting the meat with scissors like this. just comes together nicely. A bit sinew there is going to go. I'll go out to the birds in the morning. I'll take that wee nugget off the end there like that. Chop up some of this. We need a wee bit of taste in it. Which I'll get from the fat. Take that wee bit of silvery fat off the back. Ooh, that's a tough bit of that. Take that edge off. That can go out in the morning. There's the marinade again. I'm just going to drop the meat in there. Like I say. Just give it a good mix up. Make sure it's all nice and covered there. So it all gets a good wee dose of the marinade. Like that. That can sit like that. Quite straightforward so far. I'm just going to get a wee bit of cling film. Uh, cling film. There we go. There's a the cling film. Just try and get the edge. Like so, drop my knife straight through that. Put a wee fold in the back so it's easier to find. Like that. Can go back in the box. This can go over here like that. Put it nice and tight. And then that will go into the fridge, which is at the back of me, somewhere there. That's the fridge at the back of me here. Maybe that'll be spot for it. Go up there. And I'm going to leave that up there now for. I'll pray for it until lunchtime tomorrow um, and then I'm going to make a wee roll out of it. I've got some mushrooms there which I can make as well with some garlic, a bit of butter, I can go on the top of it. Uh, I might make a wee sriracha mayonnaise for the roll as well, for the bread. Um, and just see how it takes from there. Hopefully it'll be really nice and the next time you see me, it'll probably be in a couple of seconds to you, It'll be, well, I don't even know what time it is at the moment. It's ten past nine at night. Um, maybe about twelve or one o'clock tomorrow, somewhere around about there. Maybe about, yeah, maybe about one o'clock tomorrow. So, 
Good night just now, and I'll see you all in a couple of seconds. Right, folks, that's me back again. It's quite a bit later than 12 o'clock lunchtime. This is going to be my tea now. In fact, it could even be my supper. So, what I've got, I've got a roll, French sticky type thing, which is actually a tiger, it's actually called a tiger baguette. So, if you can imagine making a baguette, but covering it, before you cook it, covering it in uh, like marmite, um, water down marmite, spread it on, and that's how it cooks into it, gives you a lovely flavour. Ah, I've got some mushrooms. I've got my meat that was in the marinade last night. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I've got oil, sriracha, mayonnaise, garlic, butter. So, will we get started? What I'm going to do first, I'll open up the mushrooms. If we can actually get into them, I'll just make cheap and do it this way. And I'm going to be getting a few mushrooms, but what I'm going to do, I'll put these down onto the board so you can actually see what I'm doing. Like so. It's about there. Touch so I can see there. There we go. So I'm just going to trim the stalk a wee bit so they're a wee bit on the firm side. What I normally do is I normally just crack them and pop the stalk out like that. Uh, take that wee bit brown off there. So, what I'll do, I'll get a few of these ready and I'll be back in a second when they're all chopped. Now, they say you should never wash a mushroom. These are almost ready. I always just like to peel them off because you never know what's been on them. So you just give them a wee peel. Like this. Put them like that. And then turn them over. Get a wee chop. I'll just zoom in a wee touch on that. Get a wee bit of a chop. And as you get to the end, you want to hold it a wee bit different so you don't cut yourself. Go through these in a few seconds. You can cut them as thick or thin as you want. These are quite meaty mushrooms. But they are really quite tasty. They're only button mushrooms. You know, your standard white mushroom. But they really do taste good. I've not quite got enough there. So I'll whip a few of these off. It's just taking out of the outer skin off them. Anyone who knows how mushrooms are grown will know that you probably don't want to be eating the stuff that they were grown in. It's just a few seconds like that's then clean. And as I say, you don't wash a mushroom because it just absorbs the water. And when you're cooking it, you're actually cooking the water out. And I just went and cut my nail there with my knife. I'm glad I had a wee bit of nail there to take it. Right. That is my mushrooms ready. That should be more than enough. So, let's go a wee bit wider again. We'll move some of this out the road. Because, what we're going to do, is we'll 
over to the pots. Now the first one we're going to do, we're going to get some heat on here. And stick him more. Like that. We put a wee splash of oil in it. Like so. And then, we get a wee drop of butter. This if it comes off the spoon. That'll just affect the the burning point a wee bit and stop it going off. Paddle it. Get a wee stir down like that so it helps down. Well, that's going like that. We'll put it down a wee touch, and we'll put a wee bit of garlic in. Now this will be flavouring the oil and the butter. Like so. That's foaming just nicely there. And we throw in the mushrooms. Which will drop the heat in the pan. Almost as soon as it hits it, like so. Get this stirred in. But they should actually cook down to virtually nothing. But we want to get them all nicely covered in that garlic butter and oil. as well. It's coming down quite nicely. Just give it a wee really touch like that. Well that's on almost as low as it will go. It's looking good. Right, I'm going to pull it here a wee bit. Come back over here. Ow! Just picked up my knife wrong again. That was more luck than judgement, I'm telling you that for nothing. Right, get my baguette. I reckon if I take maybe about that much, just like that. I don't know what that is. Maybe hollow of cutting it. Oh, it's almost hollow. So we'll cut it through the middle and plonk. Now we're going to have to be bowl out. And in that bowl, I'm going to put some mayonnaise. I just squeezed it there and I thought, that's not been opened yet, but it had. Maybe a few mushrooms, I'll be quick stir around. Yeah, almost done. And 
Miskish or Saracha in there. Just enough to flavour it, not to actually make it all really hot and spicy. We'll give that a good mix around there. We now have sriracha meal. So I'll pop some of that on there. Like this. Get a good dot on there. You can smell those mushrooms just now as well. Wow. I think I've made a wee bit too much, but I'll just pop it in the fridge, have it tomorrow on a sandwich. Or as we call them here in Scotland, a piece. Right. So that's that. Start around with the mushrooms. Like so. Which I think are pretty much there now. Now, let's try and get my meat out of here. Which could be interesting. Oh wow. Well that's looking good. It smells absolutely stunning. So back over to the pots. Whee! I could actually drain all this totally, but we'll just take as much of it off as we can. It's all a good idea here, we'd actually do a bigger uh, spoon. Almost there. Oh, so all of you guys. Oh yeah, boy, the smell of that. 
and it's out of this world. And so I've got to put a fan on because it is starting to come off a wee bit in here. Okay, sorry about that, that was the smoke alarm just going off. I said there was a wee bit of steer going. Spicy nip to it there, that is lovely actually. That's the ratchet of mayo. It's actually really yummy. sauce that I've got over, like that, is going to go in the wok, and back on at a low heat, so I'll put the rest of the meat on like that. Mushrooms, which you can go like this. Okay, then one like that. Sweet touch over here. Okay, I've reduced that sauce almost right down. I'll just dribble some of this on here. This. 
that is reduced all the way down to that sticky gloop. And that is pretty much it. And we plonk the top back on again. Like that, and all the juices run into the bread. Quite a bit, it looks an absolute mess around here. But I'll clear all that up in a few minutes. So, how did that look? Something to do with a bit of steak, you saw the marinade getting made earlier. Rattled up some mushrooms. And I forgot to put the cheese on it, but you know what? I really don't think it needs it, do you? Or will I? You know what, I'm not going to bother with cheese on it. Let's give it a try. That meat is so tender. The marinade's just... It's done amazing stuff to it. I can't even put it into words. The sriracha mayo has just got a creamy, spicy kick to it. The mushrooms... I've taken them so they've just got a wee bit of a, a crunch on the outside. They are absolutely amazing as well. Garlicky, mushroomy. Absolutely stunning. So if you want something to do that's it's really not hard. Throw some mushrooms in with a bit of uh, garlic and a bit of oil and butter. Cook them down. Marinate a bit of beef. You can do it with any meat you want actually. You don't even have to marinate it if you don't want to. Throw it all together, the sriracha mayo is so simple to make. Um, Splodge of mayo and a squish of sriracha. Easy as that. So, I'm going to head off now. Going to go and enjoy this. Talk to you all soon. Hope you enjoy what I do. If you do, if you would press that wee red button, it would be greatly appreciated. Or leave me a like or whatever. Press the bell. YouTube might tell you when I'm actually putting these on again. And hopefully I'll see you all soon. Take care, stay safe, see ya!